Well, uh, first of all, Fernando uh, saved 39 games for us, and um, it, was, it was almost unbelievable how good he was in, in spurts. Uh, credit to him, you know, uh, a guy that's been around a long time, 40 years old, and kept himself in, in really, really good shape. And for, for those of us that got a chance to watch him every single day, we could see that there was a tremendous work ethic that uh, translated to success on the field. And all that didn't happen by accident. Um, smart, caring, um, with really good stuff. And it's hard to believe he's still throwing 95, 96 miles an hour with the stuff that he has. So uh, without him, we would not have won uh, that wild card spot. Uh, we wouldn't have had the success that we had during the season. Um, and uh, I, I think a lot of Fernando Army. How much does he have left? Well, based on what I saw at the end of the year, it seems like he might be able to pitch until he's 50, to be honest with you. Like I said, he works extremely hard uh, during his pregame, uh, as hard as any pitcher we have in our system. So, uh, do I think there's stuff left? Absolutely. Well, How like, much? I don't know. Yeah. La lastly, his confidence level. Obviously, when he pitches himself into trouble, yeah. it's quite an it's a it's an innate skill to pitch out of trouble. What? Uh, how, where do you think he gets that confidence? Well, um, <clears throat> I think the experience and the walk that he's, he's, he's taken has allowed him to know that there are situations uh, that, that are never too big or never too small. He keeps it right down the middle. So uh, he, he, he buckled a couple times and we stuck with him and that was because of his track record. And if you look at the overall body of work, I think it was 39 out of 45 or 46 saves. And I'm not exactly sure. but. Um, we decided to stick with him because of the track record and what he had done and done in the past. He was a proven guy, uh, and he didn't let us know.